There was uh, with Claudio Reina, Francielski, uh, two guy, very good footballers, and uh, so I think we had a great team, and uh, I think we showed it also in the Champions League, only uh, with a bit of bad luck, uh, uh, we didn't qualify for the next round. But uh, we had uh, with uh, Gio uh, from Broncos, uh, Giovanni, uh, so we had a very good team, and. Uh, so, yeah, I felt very comfortable uh, there directly uh, with a lot of, of course, uh, uh, Dutch guys, Spanish guys, Italian. It was, uh, was, was perfect. Uh. This is Ibrox. Wondering then, you, you sit down with the agent. It's quite clear it's coming to an end. Uh, we know that, obviously, you've spoken previously, Man United, Brentrace. Yeah. I'm just wondering, were there other clubs in the running, or did it really just come down to Man U, Rangers? Uh, no, no, maybe I don't, can't remember, but uh, those two were very, very serious. I spoke both with them, uh, and uh, I just had to ma- make a choice. And uh, I was that time uh, with the national team on training camp, and I had to, uh, yeah, make a decision. So I mean, that's always nice to have those kind of clubs uh, uh, wanting you. So. Uh, yeah, and I suppose the, the advocate influence would have been, you know, uh, helpful at Reigns as well. Yeah, I'm just sure. wondering about you personally, coming off the back of the experience at Barcelona, how were you feeling? Was your confidence really, really high or was it a case of I need to go somewhere and, and work on some of that? No, no, my confidence was high because what I told you, like the preseason went well, only uh, it was just clear that they uh, want to get rid of some players and... Uh, and and that was one. It was me, Liedman, and uh, some other guy. So okay, you have to accept that. You have to move on. So, but uh, my feeling was good. Uh, I was fit, and uh, so I, I went with uh, with good confidence uh, to uh, to my next club. So uh, no, that that was okay. So you you, t- you turned up um, at Rangers. Thankfully for us, you you, you signed for us and turned up. And there's a large you know Dutch contingent that's been brought in. You've got your after Newman, you've got your Giovanni from Yeah, Bruno. also another Dutch Cologne. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, yeah. And uh, I'm also thinking as well, was there any ribbing from Sergio Perini? Because he played for that Juventus team in the Champions League final. Yeah, no, I, no, 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 no. But he was a great character. But he was really Italian. He could be really a tough guy, but uh, what, a, what, a, what an incredible guy. And uh, no, we had good fun. And of course, probably we made some jokes about it, but... Uh, that uh, yeah, it's of course uh, a, a lost final that uh, it still hurts because uh, winning two in a row would be uh, something special. And uh, but uh, yeah, uh, good for him. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. let's quickly move on from from yeah. that one. I'm just wondering as well. You, you turn up, you know, how aware of you were uh, of Rangers uh, or the people within the squad? I'm thinking people like uh, Barry Ferguson, Claudio Comida, yeah. this type of thing. Were you surprised by the quality within the squad and within the, the Scottish game in general? Yeah, but the first year, of course, uh, uh, Canidia was not there and Barry was just coming, of course, to the youth system. So, uh, I think, uh, but there was, uh, with Claudio Reina, Francielski, uh, two guy, very good footballers. And uh, so, I think we had a great team and uh, I think we showed it also in the Champions League only uh, with a bit of bad luck uh, uh, we didn't qualify for the next round. But uh, we had with uh, Gio uh, from Broncos, uh, Giovanni. Uh, so, we had a very good team. And uh, so, yeah, I felt very comfortable uh, there directly uh, with a lot of, of course, uh, uh, Dutch guys, Spanish guys, Italians. It was, uh, was, was perfect. Uh, or uh, Yeah, and so... I had a yeah, directly a great feeling when I arrived to uh, Rangers. I'm just wondering as well, was there a, an expectation? I mean, you were a, a massive name to be coming into the club. Was there a, an added pressure on you, not just from the fans and the media, but also from the players in the squad, particularly some of the younger ones, maybe looking up to you? No, yeah, let me put that. I think they, they thought they hey, a guy coming from Barcelona, and of course with the Dutch team, and, uh, and of course... Uh, played in some uh, great uh, finals. They uh, they expect something uh, from you. So there was, of course, a big, a huge expectation also from the players. So uh, I had to show myself, of course. And uh, I think I did that, especially in the beginning on training, uh, did really well. So uh, yeah, 
yeah, you want to impress them. I think uh, I did. Uh, only then, of course, I uh, I got quickly uh, uh, quite a bad injury with my knee, and uh, yeah, I thought my 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 football career was over at that time. I thought I would never come back. Uh, it, was, uh, it, took, it took quite a long time before I saw some. Uh, uh, movement in my in, uh, in my re rehabilitation that I thought yeah this looks a bit like running again this uh, with this way of uh, running I can play football again and so uh, I had some very tough moments uh, after when, when I had that injury but yeah then of course uh, I got an uh, unbelievable uh, comeback I think uh, when I was fit again. Yeah, and I'll happily touch on that that comeback uh, in a moment. But I wasn't aware that the the injury to the knee was was so serious. Yeah, that was a really difficult moment. You're away from, you know, um, I don't know if your family were fully over by that point, but you're away from Holland and all that. You've started a new club, big name, and then this levels you. Did Did you go back yeah. to Holland for recuperation? Uh, it's coming back on your question before uh, for the expectation. I uh, thought, oh, uh, we we got some uh, big play and we're gonna. Uh, challenge Celtic and then uh, uh, after three, four games, a uh, decent level uh, went a little bit down uh, for me and uh, I thought, yeah, is he, uh, is he that good? Uh, probably not, I thought. And uh, so that was also uh, very disappointing for me and uh, with, with that injury, uh, yeah, it, it took uh, so long. Uh, I really was disappointed and uh, probably also the fans and then uh, yeah, I remember, uh, I think when I came back, uh, was still in the season, or I don't know. It was it one time a European championship of a European game. Uh, I, I don't know if that was before the injury or after, but uh, that I still have to laugh about. It was about uh, when uh, when we drew, I think, or we lost. Maybe we lost one zero against a, a Czech Republic team or something, or I don't know which team it was. We lost one zero, a very poor team, and there was a big article on the. Daily record, probably, or I don't know which one. And they said, like, uh, uh, like what you see sometimes, like uh, those uh, posters, like uh, if you see this uh, guy, call this number because I, I wasn't in the game. And yeah. it was basically when I remember I was standing there on the midfield and I only saw the balls like flying over me. Like, uh, and I said, just keep the ball in my feet, I will do something well with it. But I was a bit irritated because they were criticizing me, and I said, like, why are you criticizing me? I didn't even touch the ball because uh, they probably have to understand me a little bit better. And uh, and of course, it's irritating me that on the hey, on the front page or uh, the sports uh, side. And then the the next game, I was playing uh, a home game, and I just got from Nike uh, from Nike uh, shoes. They had they had always new shoes, but the white ones. I thought, geez, white ones. Should I put them on now? Hey, it's all the lights are on me, and then also the shoes. I think, look at him, uh, big nose. Uh, Things like, oh, he, he thinks he's a, he's a, he's a star or a big guy. I thought, oh, fuck it, uh, sorry for the language. I do it. I just put the shoes on, and then I made like I think it was against Falker. I made two goals with one with a bicycle kick, and uh, uh, so I said in the in the press conference, yeah, I, listen, I found the guy. By the way, uh, I know uh, where he is. So. I saw him today on the pitch, uh, <laughs> a bit, a bit of, uh, joking, of course. But those things were always like uh, when you're in a, in a, in a, on the top of, uh, of big teams, you know you're going to have that uh, thing. That was probably also in Barcelona a few times uh, with Ajax when you don't play well. And that was the same at Ranger. But uh, yeah, you have to deal with it. But uh, I think overall, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I had an unbelievable time there. Hi.